just wanted to say hi and give you guys an update. I hope you guys are doing awesome. I know that it feels like I've dropped off the face of the planet, but I have not. I am here and I've been loving life. Florida has been treating me so well right now. The weather is absolutely stunning. Uh, there's no humidity and the sun's been out, so I've just really been enjoying being here. Um, we're rounding out the end of the school year, and so, you know, just kind of getting ready for the summer. But I wanted to post an update, guys, because it is my two-year dentroversity. Two years ago this month, I had my teeth removed, not all of them, but my upper plate, all of my teeth were removed, and on the bottom, just three of my own teeth remain, so I have a partial plate on the bottom. And so I just wanted to kind of post an update for you guys so that you guys can see where I'm at today and what I'm doing and what I'm using and maybe talk about a couple of the myths that are out there. So I am still in my immediate dentures. I have not gone for my permanent set yet. And you know, I have wanted to because I do want to customize the way the teeth look. I just didn't want to yet because the teeth are still working great. My immediates are awesome. Now I have been getting hard relines, so it keeps them, you know, kind of intact and fitting in my mouth really nicely so that I'm able to eat anything that I want to eat. So, you know, I've just been enjoying my immediate dentures. I still get compliments on my immediate dentures. And so it's really kind of just hard for me to get the motivation to even change them because I fix something that's not broken. So I haven't done that yet, but as soon as I do make the decision to go for my permanent set of teeth, I will bring you guys on that journey so that you can, you know, kind of see the process of measurements and try-ins and wax and all that good stuff. So I will definitely keep you guys posted on that. In the meantime, I am still in the immediate. I have been uh, doing real well with them. I, you know, in the beginning, you know, I made a lot of videos on different products and different things to try and, you know, just talking about eating and pain and shrinkage and all that good stuff. And so, you know, now that things have kind of settled down in my mouth and calmed down, I just kind of wanted to let you guys know where we're at now. So I do still have a little bit of shrinkage. It's nowhere near what it was when I first had my teeth removed. So the shrinkage is very minimal. I have had a total of three hard relines on my upper plate and on my lower plate, I've only had one hard reline. Now they do still fit me really, really well. I do not have any adhesive or anything in my mouth right now. And most of the time I do go without adhesive. So they stay in my mouth. I don't have any problems with eating or talking or sneezing or coughing, all of that works out just fine. Never had any problems with them kind of flying out. I did forget to put my teeth in one day and I answered the door and that was a little uncomfortable, but you know, it is what it is. So it's been really interesting. I do not sleep with my teeth in my mouth. I do take them out every night and I let them soak overnight. Um, I'm just not comfortable. It feels like I don't know, it's very cumbersome to sleep with teeth in my mouth. And then when I wake up in the morning, I have this really horrible taste in my mouth when I do forget to take them out. And I have forgotten to take them out a couple times. So, so I do take them out and I let them soak and then put them back in in the morning and then everything is great. But like I said, I did answer the door one time without my teeth because I wasn't quite awake that morning and the doorbell rang and I, you know, dashed to the door to go answer it and realized my teeth were in my mouth and I was painfully embarrassed. But like I said, what can you do? So I wanted to also chat with you about the products I'm using now. So like I said before, I have changed things up a little bit. There are things that I've tried, you know, things that I didn't like, things that I did like. And because there's costs associated with all the products that you use in your mouth, you know, it gets expensive after a while. And so I, you know, wanted to kind of just touch base with you on the products that I use currently today. So one of the things that I definitely have, this would be basically my box of goodies right here. I have a denture bath. This is absolutely essential. You need to be able to soak your teeth. Even if you're sleeping with your teeth in um, throughout the night, you still want to clean them every single day. So when you wake up in the morning, you want to take them out, put them in the denture bath, give them a good soak for, you know, 15 minutes, then brush them off, put them back in 
and go about your day. But you do want to do that every single day. If you do not sleep with your teeth in and you take them out every night, then, you know, again, something like this is going to be essential for you in order to store your teeth overnight to soak. Now, I actually ran out of my Polydent, but I do use a Polydent three minute tablet. It's just your run of the mill tablet. It's the cheapest one they have. And this basically kills any bacteria or germs that might be on your teeth and you want to soak them in the denture bath overnight. Again, if you're not going to soak them overnight, you can soak them for 15 minutes in the morning and then just brush them clean. So Polydent is definitely something you want to have. I, this is probably the most used product I have here besides the denture bath itself. Now to clean your teeth before soaking them, I highly, highly, highly recommend that you clean them just to brush off any kind of food particles or debris that you might still have on there. And believe it or not, I just use Dawn soap. Some people will use a special denture toothpaste, um, but do not use regular toothpaste on your dentures. The abrasiveness of the toothpaste will actually scratch your dentures and will dullen them over time. So you don't want to use regular toothpaste. So you, they do make denture toothpaste, but it's expensive. Um, and soap works just as well. Now what I do is I will wash them with uh, soap and my electric toothbrush to make sure there's no food particles on there and to make sure that you know there's no staining or anything like that and that they are clean. After I have cleaned them with the Dawn soap, I then do a soak with the Polydent. And that's just to take off any kind of soap residue because who wants to stick dentures in their mouth and taste soap? That's kind of gross. So I do put them in the denture bath to soak just to get the soap residue off and then I rinse them off, stick them in my mouth and I'm on my way. Another really good product that you want to have is the Stain Away. I don't use this as often as the Polydent. I use this about once a month and once a month I just use one capful in my denture bath and I let them soak overnight and this really does work. It takes any kind of like coffee stains, uh, red wine stains, any kind of stains from foods that or drinks that you drink or foods that you eat it takes those stains off immediately. I mean, well, not immediately. It does take a little bit of time of soaking them, but it takes the stains off and it's really, really great. If you drink red wine, you wanna get this stuff. If you drink coffee, you wanna get this stuff. You know, anything that could possibly stain your teeth, you're, you're definitely gonna to wanna to get the uh, stain away and soak your teeth in those at least once a month. Um, some people do use this as their daily. I guess you can. I don't see any like, cautions as far as not using it as an everyday thing. So I guess you could, but again, I don't think it's necessary. Another thing that I use to keep my teeth in my mouth, or at least to have the security of that, is the Fixident powder. Now there are a lot of different adhesive powders out on the market. Fixident is my favorite. I like this one the best. It has the least amount of like bad taste. It doesn't have any, um, oozing, you know, I guess it just depends on how much you use, but I use one layer of the Fixident powder and it works really, really well to secure my teeth in. And really it's just for added security. I don't wear this every day. So there is, you know, some issue about zinc. So I don't use this as my daily thing because I really don't need them. My teeth stay in my mouth just fine. But Sometimes when I'm going to a restaurant or if I'm going to the theme park, definitely the theme parks, I'm always scared that when I'm going down the roller coaster and I'm screaming, ah, my teeth are just going to come flying out of my mouth. Like this is an actual fear that I have. So when I know I'm going to go to the theme parks, I definitely use the powder just to have that security that they're in there and they're not going anywhere. And this stuff is great. It also comes off really easy. So give it a real good tug and it takes all the paste, um, I'm sorry, the powder out in one shot and then you can soak them in the bath. And I don't scrub my teeth. If I've used the powder, I don't scrub them first. I actually will put them in the denture bath first and let them soak and it starts to dissolve away at the powder, making cleaning the dentures a whole lot easier. Also, I use DentureFit. Now, I don't use this as often anymore because I do get hard relines and hard relines allow the teeth to fit in my mouth perfect without any issues because, you know, 
especially in the beginning, you're going to have a lot of shrinkage. And so you can't have a hard reline every week. Hard relines are expensive, especially, you know, when you're going to your dentist to get it done. Sometimes the first hard reline is covered under your dentist's uh, visit, you know, with the extractions. Sometimes it's not. That is something you will have to check with your local dentist on as far as costs associated with hard relines. But because in the beginning you're shrinking so much, it's really, really hard to, you know, get these teeth to fit properly in your mouth in between hard relines. And that's where Denture Fit plays a role. Now, I've tried different reline materials, and Denture Fit has been by far the best reline material I've ever used. Um, it is so fantastic. It's a silicone type of reline material, so it's very soft. It feels like your gums are on cloud nine. Like literally your gums are so comfortable when you have this in your denture. And it gives you a nice tight fit and you know, it's snug and it's comfortable and you can eat and you don't have any issues. And this stuff really will get you, um, you know, in between that hard reline uh, appointment that you might have set with your dentist. Now, I don't use this so much now because right now my last hard reline, which I've had about mm, maybe six months ago, I had my hard reline and my teeth still fit fantastic. But when they do loosen up and I'm not ready for a hard reline, when they do loosen up, I use the denture fit just to kind of get me through that extra few months. And then I'll go for the hard reline and then I don't need it again. But it's definitely good to have it because, you know, you never know when you need that little extra. You know, it might rock one day when you're trying to eat something and it's rocking funny. You know, you can actually put the denture fit just in certain spots to, to give you a nice, tight, comfortable fit. And the great thing about this product is that the people that work for denture fit are amazing. They will help you no matter what. Like if you have even just the slightest little question, you can shoot them an email, you can give them a call and they will stay on the phone with you and help you with whatever issues that you have. So I highly recommend Denture Fit. I highly recommend uh, the fix a dent powder, which you can use with the Denture Fit. So, you know, sometimes Denture Fit may not give you that perfect suction that you want that, you know, you know it's not coming out. I never had perfect suction, but I, that's not Denture Fit's fault. I just don't have perfect suction, no matter if it's Denture Fit or a hard reline. Really, the only thing that's going to give me, you know, a perfect fit is implants. But, um, you know, so some people are like that. Some people, they have absolute perfect suction. And I think that may just have something to do with the roof of your mouth. I don't know. But um, I have used Fix-A-Dent with the Denture Fit and it worked out really well together also. So both of these are really, really great products. And then the Stain Away, absolutely. Denture Bath and Polydent. And then what I don't have here is the Dawn Soap and an electric toothbrush. You're gonna want those two things in your basket as well. So that's it as far as my teeth are concerned and what I am doing to keep my teeth awesome. I haven't had any cracks. I haven't had any problems with them. So, you know, I'm probably gonna sport these teeth for a little while longer. And plus, you know, the whole process of getting permanent dentures, it's a long process. And so, you know, I wanna be able to be comfortable in the teeth that I'm in. And I really, really like them. I'm so happy. And I really hope those of you who are just getting started on your journey, I really hope that the videos that you have found on YouTube have been helpful to you. You know, there are so many of us out there who just, don't mind putting it all out there to help you. So it's been a wonderful journey and I do not regret having my teeth pulled at all. I had so many problems with my teeth, you know, with between infections and broken teeth and just issues with staining and discoloration. And it's so nice to be able to have this procedure done, have some dentures put in and have a million dollar smile. It's really, really wonderful. And it just boosts your confidence. Uh, it just boosts your confidence amazingly enough. Now, I don't know why there's a myth about if you get dentures, you lose weight. This is not true. I've actually gained some weight because I can eat anything I want. I can literally, I can eat corn, I can eat steak, I can eat gum, I can have taffy. 
Now, I don't attempt gum unless I've used the powder. If I've got powder in my mouth, then I can chew gum. If I don't have the powder in my mouth, I cannot chew gum because gum will pull my dentures all over the place. Um, but I can literally eat anything. Now, sometimes I will take my teeth out and I will eat certain foods without my teeth because they're just so much fun. Now, once you get past the whole embarrassment of being without your teeth, you know, hopefully you have a really supportive family who don't care if you're without your teeth. And I am so blessed and thank, you know, thank God that my fiance does not mind that I don't wear my teeth sometimes or at night, especially. And then my kids don't mind if I have them out. And so it's been just such a blessing to not have to tiptoe around my family, but eat ice cream without your teeth. It's amazing. Taffy without your teeth is amazing. Um, another one of my favorite things to eat without my teeth are the chocolate raisins. I don't know if you've ever seen them or heard of them, but chocolate raisins are so good. They are so yummy and, you know, just sucking on them without your teeth is amazing. And I know that's weird, but it's just true. It's so, it's so much fun. But those are some of the fun things that I like to eat without my teeth. Now, I cannot eat regular food without my teeth. I can only eat things that are soft. I can't really chew on, you know, meat or uh, vegetables or anything like that without my teeth. I do have three of my own teeth at the bottom, but because I don't have anything going on on top, it's very difficult for me to try and chew and have it do anything. You know, I can gum it to death, but then I end up swallowing the food whole. And that doesn't really do so well with digestion. So I will only eat really regular food with my teeth in my mouth. But I can, like I said, I can eat anything. And so I have had to seriously watch what I eat because I, at first I was eating everything just because I could. Um, but then I realized that I was just gaining a little too much weight. And then I had to go ahead and go on a diet. So I went on a diet and I lost like 30 pounds, which is awesome. And, you know, I'm just going to keep on with that and just keep on with that journey. I don't want to uh, go crazy with gaining weight. I really need to lose it and and just enjoy life. I mean, I live near a beach. And I don't really, I'm, I'm not really comfortable going on the beach right now, but I would love to get to a point where I am. So, you know, just watch you know, what you eat, because once your mouth is not hurting anymore, once everything is healed up and feeling great, you are just going to want to eat everything just because you can. And so that is a really, you know, it's really amazing to be able to do that. So I just wanted to chat with you on that. I did get a new animal. So I don't know. I know you guys know I have chameleons and I do still have my chameleons. All those baby chameleons that I have, they've all grown up and I found homes for all of them, except for two. I've kept two of the females because they're just so cool. So I do have just the four chameleons left at my house. And then I did get a new dog. I got an English Mastiff who is beautiful. I'll go ahead and flash a picture of him here. And he is just so wonderful. He's such a good dog. He is five months old and 60 pounds already. I'm like freaking out because I really didn't know how big English Mastiffs get. But it is my understanding that the Guinness Book of World Records for the largest dog in the world was an English Mastiff weighing at 347 pounds, I think. If I got my facts right, I think that's what it is. And so I was kind of freaked out when I learned that the largest dog in the world was an English Mastiff. So I hope he doesn't get that big. I can't have a dog that big in my house. That's a big pile of poo is what I'm saying. But he is really good. He's so um, well behaved and potty trained. Like it took me a week to potty train this dog and not using a crate. This is the first time I have not crate trained my dog and he's using the potty outside and I'm like this is awesome so I'm really happy about that and he's so good with my other animals so that's awesome and then on a side note my kitty hurt herself like two weeks ago because I have two cats I have Snaggletooth and I have Tiffany and Tiffany hurt her tail two weeks ago she was I don't know scrapping or something outside and lost half a tail so we had to take her to the vet and the vet had to take half of her tail off, which is really, really sad. But she's really happy now. She's not in pain anymore, which is really good. 
And the vet was such an amazing vet. I'm so glad I went um, to this particular vet's office. He was great. And then my cat's happy, but that's the story with my animals. And then, like I said, I'm just working and going crazy. And it's, you know, still really amazing too, because even at work, I still get comments about how white my teeth look and, you know, nobody can tell that they're dentures. It's great. It really is great because nobody can tell. One of the things for those of you who are new to this journey and just, you know, working on getting your immediate dentures and, you know, talking to the dentist about what your options are. There are some things that, uh, you know, that you should not be afraid to talk to your dentist about. I had to fight for this color. The dentist that I went to did not want to give me these particular teeth because they're immediate dentures. They say you're going to replace them in a year. And, you know, when you replace them in a year, you know, then you can go ahead and customize however you want to customize. I wasn't having that. I wanted white teeth, you know. I got to sport them for a year. I'm a school teacher. I've had such crappy teeth for so long. I did not want to go an entire year, you know, with teeth that were only subpar, cheap, whatevers. I wanted something that was halfway decent. And they did make me pay extra because they had to send out for um, these teeth. And they're just, they're not phonars or anything like that. These are just kind of generic teeth, but they're a bleach white. And I absolutely was adamant about getting a bleach white set of teeth. And I'm so glad I did that. Do not be afraid to ask your dentist for that. If you want bleach white, you have every right to get bleach white. You're paying for it. You're paying for your immediates. You know, your insurance might cover some of it, but you got to cover some of it too. And if your insurance pays all of it, that's great. I wish my insurance did, but I had to pay for mine. So, you know, don't be afraid to talk to your dentist about that. And then if you are feeling any kind of pain, sore spots, call your dentist immediately. Take care of it right away. Because, you know, one little scoop of the drill and that sore spot is gone. So, you know, any kind of pain that you might have, do not be afraid to call your dentist and have it taken care of right away. And, you know, be insistent about what it is that you want because, you know, you're paying for it. This is what you want. And, you know, the dentist will oblige you. They may not like it, but they will oblige you. And, you know, not for nothing, like I said, these were supposed to be immediate dentures. I was supposed to replace these a year ago, but they're not broken. They're not, not working. They're working great. So I have not had any desire to make any changes to my teeth right now but I am going so I am going to be going on a journey but I need to check different dentists I'm going to be shopping around finding the best price for the particular teeth that I want I actually know what I want I've done the research I know the kind of teeth I want I know the shape that I want them in I know how I want them positioned and I know what kind of process I want done to the actual plate itself which is the injection mold so I've done the research on that. I found out there is only one lab in the state of Florida that does the injection molding that I want. And so it doesn't matter what dentist I go to as long as the dentist uses that lab to make my teeth. So I have to shop around dentists to find out who uses that lab and then find out what they're gonna charge me because of course the lab charges one price, then the dentist charges another price, and unfortunately I can't go directly through the lab. So I will be doing a little shopping around on that, find out costs associated with that here in the Central Florida area, and I will definitely keep you guys posted on those costs. I haven't gotten anything for free. I'm not getting anything for free. Even the products that I use, none of the products that I use, uh, I get for free. You know, you have to pay for it. So, you know, if you're going to pay for it, you might as well get what you want to get. So in any event... I am gonna go ahead and cut this video now because it has been a long video, but it is so awesome to be back saying hello to all of you. And I promise I will not stay away for this long. I will start posting some just kind of random out and about videos. I know I never shoot videos when I'm out and about doing different things, but I'm gonna go ahead and post some videos when I'm at like the restaurant and you know, just kind of showing you how it is eating once you've, you know, had your dentures for a while and seeing how it is navigating through that. But if you have any questions, comments, 
please leave them down below and I will absolutely answer your questions and comments on the next video or I will message uh, with some answers if I'm not able to get to a video right away. But again, you guys are awesome. Please have a wonderful rest of your week and I'll talk with y'all later. Peace. Yeah!